Hey there. Today we're going to run a little experiment. Some of you folks like to charge on 120 volts AC if you're in North America. Perhaps you charge on Shuku if you're in Europe or one of the variants located around the world. As you know, this is kind of a low power connection, but some of you don't have the capability to be able to be hooked to a higher power connection, which of course charges your car faster. So today we're going to run an experiment. The plug located way over there between the last two bays is 120 volts AC. Here in North America, that's what we have for our normal house current. However, in Europe you have 240 at nearly double the power. But we're going to run this experiment just to see how many extension cords we can have and therefore we'll figure out exactly how far we can run normal extension cords to charge our car. So I'm way over here at the connection point of the 120 volt AC connection. Let's see exactly how far it is to the car. Okay, 100 feet there. That's 30 meters. And to the car, we have 124 feet. And I suspect that's about 40 meters and a little bit more. So that's where we're going to be our initial test run here. I now have five 25 foot extension cords. This particular extension cord is 14 gauge. It will handle a continuous 15 amps according to the uh, tag on here. And it's uh, 14 two. So now I'm gonna get the charger for the car and let's just see with a 125 foot extension cord, what kind of charge do we actually get? So we're going to open up the mobile connector box here. You know, it contains an adapter and a 240. Get the mobile connector out. Carefully not to drop the end. And you want to carefully plug this in. Don't touch it. You want to handle the end of the, the charger carefully. We want to press the button and we want to insert it all the way in. Okay, we're flashing blue. Now we're flashing green. 111 volts at the end of 125 foot cable plus the mobile connector. We got nine amps flowing so far. We're getting about a kilowatt. So we're seeing that with the voltage at only 110 volts available, the car has derated its maximum charge current to nine amps, even though the 12 amps are available from the wall. In this case, we're at nine because of the drop. We have a note and it says, check for extension cord or bad utility wiring. So it appears that the mobile connector is correctly monitoring the input voltage and adjusting the car's charge current appropriately. So I'll back the car up. I'll take probably 75 feet off and let's just see what our charge current is. I have 75 feet of number 14. We must be right at the hairy edge. As you can see, it's 110 volts now is what the car reads from the wall. We're charging at 12 amps. Okay, let's add another 25 foot number 14 extension and see what we get. 112 volts, but you see what's up? By adding the fourth extension cord, it must be low enough that the mobile connector senses the voltage drop and it limits it at nine amps. But when this voltage gets below about 110 volts, maybe 109, it's going to limit its charge current to the car. It's okay, you can run an extension cord which makes this drop down in current. Of course, you're dropping a lot of power across that skinny extension cord. So let's try another experiment. I have some number 12 extension cords and they're 50 feet long. 
Okay, I have now connected 75 feet of number 12 extension cord. The number 12 has a triple outlet, but that's okay. You can plug this into any of those, and it runs back to the same place as before. Plug this in. We're all green. So far, so good. Go ahead and now plug it into the car. Flashing blue, flashing green. Let's take a look inside. Okay, this is 75 feet of number 12. As you can see, we get a full 12 amps and we're charging at maximum current now at the end of 75 feet of number 12. We're at 113 volts. You can see with the heavier gauge wire, we have less voltage drop to the car when we're drawing 12 amps. So let's have a look here now on the additional 50 feet of number 12. We're holding at 110, 111 volts. And this gives us maximum charge current. We had 120 volts. Of course, we're not getting 120 volts now because we're dropping all that voltage in that additional 125 feet of extension cord. But if you can't park close to your outlet, you'll need an extension cord. Well, it's hot today. It's a better part of 90 degrees. I sure hoped you learned something. So the 75 feet of number 14 extension cord was able to charge the car at 12 amps. Any more than that, we found that the voltage would drop and the car would reduce its charge current, which of course that directly affects how many miles per hour of charge. What our experiment was with the number 12 extension, which is probably 30% larger than the number 14, allowed us to do 125 feet and also charge okay. That gives us the ability to have further range from the extension cord outlet, be it on a building, a hotel, wherever. And that allowed us to park our car at least 125 feet away from this outlet. If you had a number 14 extension cord, that gives you a whopping 75 feet of distance. Of course, this depends on where you're going and a lot of factors. The outlet actually is a factor in all of this too. This particular outlet has a 15 amp circuit breaker and I suspect it has number 14 wiring. So what does that mean? Well, when you draw a solid 12 amps from any circuit, the spacing between the circuit breaker box and the outlet is just like an extension cord we experimented with today. It's also going to have voltage drop depending upon how much current we're drawing. So if you're close to the circuit breaker box with the outlet, you'll have less drop and therefore you can probably go a little bit further with number 14 extension cord. However, the number 12 sure nice. If you get yourself at least a hundred foot number 12 extension cord, you can easily charge the car at full power even on a 15 amp outlet like I did here. So it's better to have it and not need it than it is to need it and not have it. So putting a 100 foot number 12 extension cord in your frunk along with your other adapters is an excellent idea. You just never know where you might need to get charge at. And that of course will give you the maximum rate of charge here in the Model Y. Electricity is a bit complex for some Ohm's law really helps you out a lot. And if you wanted to know, we were drawing 12 amps in this number 14. And you notice that the feed voltage at the circuit breaker is 124 volts. That means we were dropping a lot of power here to get it all the way down to 110. By putting larger wire like this number 12, you're gonna have less drop. And the result is you're gonna be able to charge the car quicker. So I hope you learned something. It's kind of a complex type of thing, but always be safe in plugging in and plugging out extension cords. Never do it barefooted unless you don't want to be around. And the last tip is always have your stuff in your frunk just in case you need to charge. And if you'd like to buy yourself a Tesla, 
The referral link here shown at the bottom of the screen will get you a thousand miles of free supercharging. When you're traveling, that's quite a distance, but it's free. Follow the link, place your order through the Tesla website, and I would certainly appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I'll look for you again and take care.